Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 14 of my Wolf's career in FM 2014. Today is probably the episode I look forward to every season or doesn't even even if I don't do a series on a save. It's the really the time where I look forward to bringing through your new intake of youth players, the regens. So I'm really excited to find out who will be the best. And hopefully I do have some options. But before that, I've been trying to sell Doyle. Uh, Blackpool, we had an offer accepted for 1.5 million. I offered that and they wanted to put out that amount of money, but he demanded the money to move. I didn't, it could, yeah, he demanded, look at that. He wanted almost 19K per week, even when he goes. So I, I'm not going to do that. He wants to leave the club. If he wants to leave, um, yeah, you have to take the pay cut. So that, yeah, that's what I'm going to uh, deal with Doyle that way. But yeah, I am going to try and sell him uh, because yeah, he wants to leave. And even though he's been playing good, that's, tough but yeah this is episode is just going to be about the regens i might do a little bit of other stuff later might show a little bit information about the results yeah i'll do that after this but first up we'll check out and our first guy billy reed with gareth prosser the first guy up he says he is one of the better players from this year's youth intake so and he's from wolverhampton as well let's see how he is a four and a half star of ports a right back he's got pace which is good good natural fitness that's good to see He's very determined, work rate, that's what we need in our formation tactic we're currently using. Technically, not amazing, but you know that can improve uh, slightly. And he's only 15, so definitely he's be one I'll offer a contract. So I might as well, yeah, I'll do it now. Approach to sign. And I don't sign heaps, I just sign players that I believe will be part of the future, and the rest I'll just... I don't, I don't decline them straight away. I just leave it until their contract runs out because there's so many of them. So Aaron Nugent, only a two-star. I'm not too sure about him. He's very weak. He's supposed to be a defensive midfielder, only five strength, even though that can improve. Let's check the coach report. To bench will be a good Skybet League 1 defensive midfielder in the future. Probably, I probably wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't, I don't think he has the ability... Uh, to be in the Premier League where we will be in a couple years if everything goes to plan. Next up, Trevor Kolodinsky. Another two-star report. The two-star report guys are never really... They have to be over two and a half star pretty much. And if it's anything other than that, I just leave it. And his natural fitness is only three. So I don't think that will be good enough. He'll get a lot of injuries and injuries will probably plague him in his early days and he won't be able to develop the way I want him to. Next up, Steve Killock from Coventry. He's got a three-star report. That's when I start to consider his center midfield position. I'm going to talk about that soon in my tactic, but he's only got one dribbling and passing four. I still, I'm not really convinced about it, but even though he has good teamwork and work rate, uh, he could work hard to reach his level. He has potential to be a good Skybet championship. Yeah, if someone has potential to be in the championship, like you'll be able to at least make some money from them. So I definitely will offer him a contract. Because there's actually going to be other regions I'm going to sign, hopefully anyway, uh, through my scouting and other methods that I do to find them. Next up, Lee Moon. Nah, he's crap. <laughs> you just take a look at that one and a half star report and it's never going to be good enough. Dave Steele. Uh, two star report. Again, not going to be good enough. So just for the way to the next guy, Harry Wells, who is a striker. Two and a half star. Ooh, he's got a lot of acceleration. What's his report like? Good, yeah. A people who's going to be good enough for the league one, you rarely, yeah, you rarely make any money off them. They hardly go into any value, so I'm not going to worry about them uh, for now. Next up, Kieran Powell, who's a center attacking midfielder. He had the same haircut as the other guy. He almost looks exactly the same as him, but this guy could be quality. He's four star report. If you have over six, if you have something 16 attribute already, especially technically, you can be amazing, and it's his technique as well. Dribbling first touch can be a very good attacking midfielder, but we'll play him in center mid, of course, uh, in box to box midfielder. I'll, again, I'll talk about that soon. Yeah, he could be definitely for the future. So we've picked up another guy that I can can be in our team. So we've got some good options: a defender, a right back, and an attacking midfielder. It's always good to get unique options. I would always rather having all these different options than just one really good guy. If I can get a few in, I'll be very happy with that. So next up, Tommy Pritchard. He can play attacking midfield or strike and a four and a half star report. Oof, this is a good regen uh, youth intake this year. Potentially be a good premier division attacking midfielder. So pick up another one. Most likely we'll try and play him as a striker. He's got really solid attributes, but he's pretty small uh, to be honest. 
and he's going to be really have no influence in the air. So you just got to see how he develops, but he does have the potential. So we're going to sign him up. Very, very good youth intake. This is definitely, especially being Wolves. We are improving our training facilities and youth facilities, so they might want to come to the team as well. Oh, we've got some guy from a different country, from Budapest, Laszlo Tatai. This always happens for me. Okay, yeah, look at this guy right here. Two and a half star report. Anytime I get a guy from a different country and I think he could be a good, unique prospect for us, he ends up being crap, uh, which is very unfortunate for me. Again, he probably yeah, he won't be worth selling. In defensive midfielder, he'll be able to tackle well. Decent, I don't know. Uh, we would have better options, to be honest. We have better options already uh, and are younger. So I probably won't offer him a contract. Like I said, they need to be above three-star, and sometimes even three-star, they don't look good for me. Adam Steele, again, he's probably not going to be good enough also, so we'll leave him. Dean Reed from Dudley. This guy's a very versatile player, so he could be important for us. So maybe, possibly this guy, because of his versatility, I'm not, I'm not sure. But again, work rate and teamwork, they're big things in our formation, so that yeah, it's definitely not high enough, especially work rate. That's something I need. So I'm probably not going to offer him a contract. So next up, Darren Cooper, only two stars. No, thank you. Even though he seems okay, but again, we're not going to. He's not going to be first team quality, or we won't make profit off him. Uh, that any much, yeah, it won't be any much to make money off. Yeah, maybe they're going to keep them or sell them. You know, because uh, I will be bring bring through heaps, and with because I'm going to be bringing in like other regions, whether it be for free or whatever or cheap. Uh, that's why I don't want to sign all of these because then I have too many on the book. So I'm probably going to sign better ones if I'm being honest. But this guy here has got decent technically, uh, yeah, technical attributes. George Jeffcott, tackling 12, marking 13, heading 13, positioning 12. Some decent defending attributes. Natural fitness is a problem. If we can improve that with training, he could be decent. So we'll sign him up. A lot of the time, I want to judge them myself as well. But you got to give your coaches uh, some credit also. Uh, their opinion, that's why you sign them, of course. Now, keeper, Ross Haywood, uh, definitely not going to be good enough. We have another youth keeper that has decent potential, better than him. So, yeah, that was already at the team this year. And Russell Barlow, only two stars. So, I'll leave it at that. We signed up some quality. They'll be part of the future. The rest will just let go. And I did want to explain my tactic. And this is why, now in Football Manager, you can't just download a tactic and do well. you got to make changes to help your team you got to play your preferred role so there's no such thing as a perfect tactic anymore so obviously i'm using this one and i'm changing it a little bit you know we had the defensive midfielder but i moved it up to a box-to-box -box midfielder which is similar yeah they're almost similar positions if you ask me the way they've been playing but in the tactic he goes a bit more forward obviously you would expect and edwards and when i change that i just want to show you the wonder of my change uh, in his reports i changed that last couple of matches and he scored in both of those games so that's pretty much my tactical now uh showing what i can do tactically and it worked well especially so i can actually utilize my center mids because if i just left the defensive midfielders i can't play him then he's perfect box to box midfielder so that's one reason i'll be changing my tactics and the roles and the duties uh to get the best out of my players so there's no best tactic anymore. You can't download a super tactic or whatever and get results. You need to make changes to the players you have, like with the strikers as well. If I have a striker, that'll be a good poacher. I'll probably change poacher uh, from that, but it's uh, working well with the advanced forward. So if my strikers aren't scoring, I can change it up to suit other strikers, what their preferred yeah, preferred one is. And exactly, we'll do it like that. Like with Cassidy, he hasn't been really good for me. I'm going to try and get rid of Doyle and he's going to get more game time and He's advanced forward and poacher, so might add a poacher in there instead of the complete forward in support role, but he can play. He's got the third option there, so it's good to have those options. And, yeah, that's why I always like to change my tactic up uh, just to keep it fresh as well and confuse the opponents because they're going to expect... But it's going to be the similar, like, 4-4-2. Just maybe just change it around every few months or something. Just change it up a little bit to suit your players. That's what I do. So last few matches... Uh, the Johnson's Pain Trophy, as I said, we we're probably going to win it, and we did. Just played a bit defensive there against Hartlepool away, and we got the result into the final. I might do that as the next episode against Coventry, and then I'll probably just play through the season because I'm gonna I'm gonna win the title, of course. Port Vale, it was two one at home. Lee Griffiths scored twice and missed a penalty. O'Hara got injured again. I might actually try and sell him. He's a bit injury prone, uh, from what I've seen against Walso. Well, Sol, I should say. We've seen we've been conceding, but I think it's just getting to the end of the season, injuries and. 
you see players are picking up yellow cards, they're getting a bit tired, so that's probably what leads to that. But they are away matches, you've got to take that into consideration. But I'm happy with the amount of goals that I'm scoring. Again, like I said, against Walsall, all different unique goal scorers. As I said, David Edwards, uh, Kevin Doyle, I did play him so he can get interest up from other teams, which he has done. If I just go and check him out right now, go to the transfer, well, when he rejected the contract, no one's interested anymore. So I might just try and offer him for a bit cheaper and see if I can uh, gather some other teams. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I want to do offer to clubs. I might just yeah tone it down a little bit. I'll do just 1.3, which is only 0.1 above his value. Okay, Swindon, 4-1. That was another good result. Dean Parrott scored his two first goals of the season. Like, he scored, his, uh, sc scored the first goal for Wolves, and then he scored his second. Edwards, like I said, scored again. And Sigurd Arsene, who's been lifting in the second half of the season, scoring more goals, and he's gone up to 10 in the league and nine assists. Uh, very impressive by him. And eventually, I've got all the, the badges right for the leagues, but it just... So you've got this one here, which doesn't show, but I should just focus on the English one, so I had to re get rid of them. For a reason, it will take too long to explain. But anyway, yeah, uh, Sigurd Arsene is coming along fantastically, to be honest. He's improving, uh, doing really well in training. You see, improving his attributes, doing well on the pitch on match day. He's been an excellent player for me. So that is pretty much it. A shorter episode. And with selling Doyle, we're going to have a lot of wage budget free. Potentially, the sign of big money signing next season. Because we're getting all these free transfers in. Who's Billy Reid? Do I have to remember? Oh, the, these are the obviously youth players, yeah. I'm getting a few signings in, so I'm probably not going to make any more signings. What I'm going to do, you know, I've showed you all these free transfers already. I'm probably going to sign, go for one big guy. Uh, if we sell Doyle, we might bring in a big, big striker. Like, if you go now, check out uh, Transfer Center. Like, who wants to come to our team so far? And we'll, we'll just make a judgment off that. We'll take this expiring off. I might make some English signings on free. We'll just see what I can, yeah, what I can deal. Uh, if I just search for a striker... See, look, Adam LaFondra, uh, he's obviously a quality striker, Premier League level, great penalty taker. He would be good. You see, complete forward or advanced forward, he'll do well. Uh, but he hasn't really gotten a chance for Reading uh, back in the championship now. So we might have to go for him. They, I'm surprised he's not given the chance. He's not needed, so he's a guy potentially we could go for. Or I could make an offer for a straight stop for Kevin Doyle. And then we had we would have two really good finishes in our team with uh, Lafondra and also Griffiths. That could be a potential offer. So leave in your comments if that's something I should do. Uh, not sure. Yeah, we just got to see what happens. So I'll just add him to my short list. But yeah, there's different potential things I could do with the team. So that is it for now. Hopefully enjoy this episode of the Youth Intake. And I'll see you guys next time.